Welcome to the Canoga Park Youth Arts Center's new series, Inspired by Spring, where each week a new lesson will teach us a different aspect about spring and how we can draw to make art out of it. Now I know that we've drawn butterflies and I know that we've drawn flowers, but today our lesson is really just focused on that lovely little interaction between a butterfly and a flower. It's a very important interaction, by the way. So we just have a very simple drawing that really focuses on this glorious moment. And I know it just looks like a butterfly sitting on a flower to you, but in real life, this is how pollinating the flowers. So we get more flowers and better flowers and by pollinators. Our little butterfly friend, he goes and he's drinking the nectar. He's got a little straw that comes off. He drinks the nectar. And then when he hops to another plant, he's bringing pollen to that other plant. So that helps the plants thrive. Let's take a look at some photographs. This is a drawing similar to what we're going to be doing today, as you can tell. It's just the emphasis is on one big flower and our butterfly. And what I'm going to keep pointing out to you is this triangle shape, triangle shape. And look, there's a little indentation there, so it's almost like a heart-ish, just a tiny little bit. But it's basically a triangle. And you can see the delicate little legs jumping around on the flower. Down here we have a monarch. I think that's a clover. But look again, triangle. But it's got a little, a little thing here. So if we were to turn this upside down, it looks like an upside down heart. But just a tiny little indentation where the two wings cross each other. Now down here, we got this guy hanging out on this cool shaped flower. Triangle. But then we just got this littlest, tiniest little indentation on this side here. Let's go and take a look at another one. This one I think is called a skipper. Maybe you've seen them. They've got little, they skip around on the plants. And this looks like it could be a little bit of clover too. But now look what we got. It's a triangle again. And then a little guy is peeking out there. They've got a little straw. And sometimes it curls up when they're not using it. And it uncurls when they're going in for the nectar. Here's our true monarch butterfly. Looks like a stained glass. And do you see these lines? We're going to have some of those lines in our butterfly too. But you can see how he's checking out, he's trying to get it. And every time he puts his legs around here, when he leaves, he's got pollen, just like a bee does. And our last butterfly today is also sitting on top of a flower. And you can see his little legs here. His legs are collecting pollen. He's going to fly to a different plant after that, and he's going to pollinate that plant. Without pollinators, we don't have food. So it's really important that we support our butterflies and our honeybees because they provide a wonderful service for us. They pollinate the plants so we can get fruits and vegetables. Without them, we wouldn't. Let's look again at this one. Hey, remember how I kept showing you that triangle shape? Here's our triangle shape. And there's just a little bit. So if I put it this way, can you see how it looks just a little bit like a lopsided heart? But it's easier if we think of it in terms of a triangle. I have my big daisies because I wanted my daisies to have a landing spot, I drew my daisies this way, where all the petals are kind of coming down, and then here's the big hump that's in the middle. And I wanted a really simple design. So when I looked at it, I go, well, hmm, this is cool, but there's a lot of empty space here, and there's a lot of empty space there. So I threw in a second flower, waiting to be pollinated, and the sun. And I gave him a face, because it's my art, and I can do whatever I want with it. So let's begin our drawing. All right, so we're going to start by drawing our flower first. I'm going to draw a little hump, a little frown, with a little oval. Look, it looks like an eyeball, doesn't it? And I'm just going to put my petals, da dink, da dink, da dink, da dink, da dink. There you go. You can, count, you can make any kind of flowers you want. And then I have a big, long stem. It goes all the way down to the bottom. I can throw some leaves on there if I'd like. You remember, the leaves have stems, too. Here's my leaves. A lot of times there's a line down the middle of a leaf. I'm going to make my other little flower as long as I'm in flower mode. There's my frown. I'm creating my eyeball. Leaf. Petal, 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 petal. Stalk. And we're too low down to show any of the leaves there. All right. So now we're ready for our butterfly. Okay. We're going to put his body on top of the part of the flower that he likes the most to drink from. We're going to put a couple of his legs in here. All right. Here's a little head. There's a little antenna coming out. And if you wanted to, you can make his little curly straw. It's one of those crazy cur curly straws. All right, now for the wings. Remember what I said, big triangle. Here's one side of my triangle. 
There's the other side of my triangle, and this comes in like this. I'm going to put a little bit of an indentation in there. Remember how I said? Because these wings overlap. In reality, there's a line that kind of separates one ring from the next. But when we're looking at it like this and all that pattern, it kind of gets hard to keep sorted out what pattern belongs to which wing. So we're just going to make our triangle. So you can see how this is a triangle, only on the back side here. I just put a little bit of a little bit of a notch in there. Again, you can do anything you want. This is your butterfly. Now I'm just going to put a border around it. I'm going to make the border a little thicker on the wings, the tips of the wings, and comes down. So you can see I'm kind of repeating that shape. And I can even repeat that shape one more time if I wanted to. Like that. Now the way we decorate this is totally up to you. For me, I'm going to make my circles, and as my band gets bigger, so do my circles. And as it gets smaller, my circles get smaller. My border gets bigger, and look, my circles are getting bigger. And then they're going to start to get small again as we come down here. Now, all of this inside stuff is up to you, but you do need to remember one thing, it's symmetrical. So try to have your pattern be symmetrical. So if I'm going to put some little teardroppy shapes on this side, then I'm going to put some little teardroppy shapes on that side. And if I'm going to have some, let's see, what can I do? I can have some circles coming up here, up to this tip, and I can have some circles coming up over here, to here. Then I can have some big, long things like this. You can just make this up as you go. Now there's this one thing that a monarch has that I wanted to show you. It's like a stained glass window. So really all I'm doing is I'm making these Y's. Do you see these Y's? Why am I making a Y? Because the Y kind of looks like what a lot of butterflies have when their wings have these little sections to them. And then if you wanted to, you could even color all of those sections a different color if you wanted to. So it really looked like a stained glass window. So sometimes I put a Y in. You see how I'm putting Y's? And sometimes it's just a straight line. But they're kind of like a way of dividing up the wing into little sections. I know you've seen that on a monarch butterfly. All right, here's our butterfly. There's our butterfly wing, our flowers. We just need a sun. And you guys can do your sun any way you want. Here's another way of doing a sun. We just put two rings. And you pick the rays coming out like that. Little happy face on here. Little nose, happy face. There we go. This is the super fast version of a nice, simple butterfly on top of the flower. Now, when I came up with an idea for this drawing, I really wanted it to be simple because I wanted all the focus to be on the butterfly wings. So when I did my upgrade, a couple things I want you to notice. See, I wanted to keep everything else simple. And yes, you can have a yellow sky because I thought a yellow sky would make my butterfly pop out more. So I wanted all of the focus to be on this. That's why I kept it really simple and wanted all of the complicated stuff to be up here so that you could see the beauty of this butterfly. Now remember, butterflies are pollinators. We really need them. Be nice to butterflies. Be nice to the bees. We so need them. I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw butterflies having a little snack on a flower top. So thank you for joining us for the Canoga Park Youth Arts Center series on Inspired by Spring. I hope you enjoyed learning about butterflies having a snack on a flower top. Thanks for joining us.